Currently, Namibia is targeting mostly niche markets within the U.S. with its premium products of beef, beer and charcoal. Subsidized commodities in the U.S. may pose a threat to Namibia's aims to diversify and increase the number of exports of other products. In the market. And we can develop projects, but we will struggle uh, to get into a competitive situation in the U.S. if the subsidies are remaining as they are. So I think we have to discuss um, some preferential treatment on, on, on that, that we can then also um, trade with these commodities. Of course, the, the Africa free trade area is our first choice because then we can trade amongst each other. Namibia also needs significant investments in irrigation systems coupled with digital solutions. This, Schledwein says, as the country seeks to branch into intensive irrigation agriculture to link stable produce with high-value crops including table grapes, blueberries, targeting certain niche markets. Um, we are a very dry country, so we would need... Um, significant investment in getting enough irrigation um, area developed so that we get food self-sufficiency in, in grains and other staples, potatoes and some vegetables. So, so that's the one area. But agriculture is not anymore a simple farming operation. We need digital solutions. And we need data sets. These data sets need to be properly protected, yes. don't properly managed. So I think yes. that we, we can branch out in, in many other um, aspects. This is taking over the, the model of, of, of transaction as, as we are moving into a new area of uh, ensuring that trade becomes better, faster, and easier to all of us. We want really to open up in terms of discussion, in terms of uh, the U.S. Trade and Development Agency and others see potential and interest in a number of sectors in Namibia. Just on supporting the development of high-quality infrastructure um, and bringing U.S. solutions, technologies uh, and innovations to the projects that we support. Our work, our assistance is grant-based and we provide grants for feasibility studies, technical assistance, pilot projects, which are the prerequisite really for defining a project well, technically. What we do really is to educate people as much on what our financing mechanisms are and our tools to do business. So we will fill the gap where the commercial sector does not. So uh, our focus is really to try and get as much American exports out there to help build uh, some kind of global prosperity. Concrete discussions with relevant stakeholders in the public and private sectors are expected to continue between the respective agencies responsible for investment promotion and economic diplomacy. Blanche Corres' NBC News, Klokweng, Botswana.